Hey people, how you doing? I hope you're well. Just finished my intense leg session at EIS gym in Sheffield. Just gonna pick my car up now. I dropped it off just before I went to gym. So at least I've got a few hours to valid it. Today is gonna be an interesting vlog because someone messaged me yesterday and said if I would please do a review of their product, their food. So they have actually um, cooked a paya and they want me to pick it up from their house not so far from this uh, location so i'm going to go and pick it up and then i'm going to do a review of this paya so for a lot of people that don't know what paya is if you don't know now you're about to know guys look it's like brand new now huh yes so all this smoke came out from my car yeah. oh, look wow. at that that's why it's very important to clean car yeah. huh these guys have done a really good, amazing job. They've cleaned the car, it's nice and clean. And it's all about cleansiness. So you need to be clean and tidy. It don't matter if it's in your house or in your car, whatever, it needs to be clean, squeaky clean. So I, I do recommend this place if you're in Sheffield, car wash on Articliff Road. And this is the best valeting place in town. So if you're in Sheffield, give it. There's my car and you get a free air freshener. Check that one out, guys pick up the paya and let's do the review of paya guys so guys i'm here at el marshall road and the bizarre thing is i live at 368 my door number is basically 368 and this guy's door number is exactly the same 368 wow so guys i am here now at shamsi's house and look at that he's made me a nice dish it's a paya and he's actually gone out of his way to make some chapatis because he sent me a message he goes bro i'll make some chapatis as well because it's a bit of messing about for you to make it at home and you know what us bengalis we don't really make much chapatis it's all about rice so anyway it's nice of him to make some chapatis and a paya i will show you what's in this box when i go home but not now and um i really feel humbled to be here and i feel really nice that he's actually gone out of the way to invite me to his house and pick up this even though I've had a hard session in the gym. But you know me, they say some people uh, eat to live, I live to eat. And I love eating. Food is my hobby, food is my passion. And I have been in the restaurant trade. Let me tell you a little bit about this brother. He doesn't want to be in the camera for privacy reasons because he doesn't want no credit. He just wants you to try it. But um, I will have to tell you a little bit about this brother. This brother used to come to my Indian restaurant, Shimul Meadowhead. Uh, probably about 10 15 years ago and he was a regular customer even though he lives in this area this area is called um, fur vale um, burn grief pit small you could call it this area um, l marshall so and just further down is firth park and um, he used to make a trip from here all the way to meadowhead and from here to meadowhead is around i would say a good eight miles guys so he used to go out of his way just to go and uh, try my food and uh, he used to love it so now it's my time to do the favor so i've come all the way here to his house to his crib and basically i'm going to take this home and i'm going to try it, and i'm going to give you guys a review to tell you the truth i don't really know much about paya and uh, what it is but uh, as far as i'm concerned it's um sheep throat sheep what is it bro crutters Okay, she brought us. Yeah. And how is it made? Just tell us a little bit about it. Oh, it's a long procedure, basically. Tell us basically. Uh, basically, all the hair needs to be burnt first from the feet. Uh, that could take up to an hour, an hour and a half, but it needs to be done correctly because you don't want to be eating something and you find a big hair in it and it Definitely. automatically puts you off so you don't want it again. So the procedure of burning them and, and, and getting the hair out of them, that's probably the toughest thing to do. Uh, and buyers, if you want to make real good buyers, uh, a real good chef will know that you do not put onions in pies. Okay. It's just basically a garlic and ginger, uh, okay. what needs to be fried. And this, bro, does it normally have meat with it as well, or is it just... It, it does, yeah, but it's, it consists mostly of fat. Okay, and it's a bit but like, um, they do like a lentil kind of mix as well, yeah? You can do. You could do you, like additionally, yeah. You can do, yeah. You, oh, okay. you can do that. But these are just basically just the juice, the thickness of the sauce comes from the marrow bone and the fat. Okay. And how long have you been doing this for? <sighs> I've been making them about 
25 years now 25 years and uh, did you say you make it for large amount of people yeah i've done i've done 50 kilo uh, so uh places in bradford kilo, so that uh, will uh, probably feed around brother 50 kilo is probably it pro probably feed about 300 people yeah so yeah. guys about this guys i will write some information below and if you do want him to prepare your food He'll be more than happy to go along and make it. And where do you make all your food? Do you make it at home or do you make it at the unit? Uh, most of it's made at home. But if it's uh, large quantities, then it is done in a unit. And it's mainly made um, here? Used in, in the home. And if it's summer, we get the burners outside uh, and we do it outside. <laughs> Any messages you'd like to send to the viewers, the people watching about your dish? Uh, yeah, brothers, man, it's a long procedure. If you want to do the right thing, then you have to be patient with this. Uh, and the total cooking time, I'd say, is eight hours to make proper Start good. Start to finish. Start to finish eight hours. But if you tell somebody that, I don't think they'd want to make them and spend so much time, you know. And is it okay if I leave your telephone number on my video as well? Of course, so brother, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but that's guys, sure, I'm yeah. going to go. Yeah. Now definitely I'm going to go and try because it is getting cold and it's going to be about another 10-15 minutes drive to my house and I can't wait to sample this and honestly I feel truly blessed and humble for this guy. You are more welcome. To think uh, about me and to yeah. actually do yeah, a little no, review no. and you know what in this video if it goes well guys I think I'm going to start doing more videos about food because yeah. I do get a lot of messages people saying guys um, Ashby please make a lot more food reviews and about food. Forget your comedy sketches because I do a lot of comedy mm -hmm. sketches as well forget your dramas forget your other stuff you do mm -hmm. concentrate on food and I think you do well so I think this is going to be the first time I'm going to do a proper food review and I can't wait to go and try it so guys keep on watching and yeah. I'm going to be honest with you if it's good it's, I'm going to tell you I'm not going to lie I'm not going to do any favorism yeah. because some people want me to do a lot of favorism but I'm not going to do favorism even, even though I've known him for a long time if it's good I'm going to say it's good and if it's bad, sorry bro, I'm going to say yeah. bad. Anyway, let's go back to my house and right, we'll okay. continue the vlog. Right. Boom. Thank you very much, Simon, brother. So guys, I'm here in my house now. So let's try this paya. And let me show you what it is. So basically, it's wrapped it up. I've not opened it whatsoever. You could see it. No tricks. I've not been to the takeaway restaurant. I've got it from his house. So let's open this paya and try what it is. Bismillah. You know what, guys? I'll just rip it. It'll be easier. Instead of trying to open this knot, just rip it. Okay. Paya time. Okay, so if you bring the camera a little bit forward, please, Aliyah. So he's made some nice chapatis. And the chapatis is in this file. Okay, this is it. And look at it. Mm, it smells really nice and it's fresh and it's put it in foil. Sometimes it's very good to put it in foil because if you put it in foil, it keeps it nice and warm. Now let's open it up. Bismillah. Aha. Uh -huh. So viewers, if you could see what it is. So there's actually just a rich sauce there, brownie sauce. And there's some like, um, as he mentioned, the throttles. Or throttles, sorry, I don't know exactly what to say. And this is, so I'm going to actually try and sample a little bit and just um, let you know how it tastes. Bismillah. Before that, I need to wash my hands. One second. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Let me try it. I'll just try one small little piece here. As you can see there, small piece. And I'll put some sauce. And um, I'm actually a big fan of paya because last time I went to a restaurant, I did order paya. But one of my favorite is Nihari. So Nihari, I could eat it every day, single day. I love eating Nihari. Because Nihari is like lamb shanks, it's on the bone and you get lots of meat of it on it. And Nihari is absolutely delicious. But this is paya. And look how that is made some nice chapatis. And oh my god, how many has it made? Let me count it. One, two, three. To tell the truth, guys, I love chapatis. The reason why I love chapatis is because chapati is very nice and thin, as you could see. A lot of times when you actually have roti, roti is a lot bigger, thicker and um, sometimes if you're not feeling that hungry, I think a nice chapati is just absolutely perfect. And the way he's made this chapati, it's actually nice and round. Can you see it? When some people make chapati, it's like flag of Pakistan all over. 
or flag of Bangladesh. But this is actually a nice quality round circle chapati. Bismillah, let's try it. So I think I'm going to try the sauce first and let you know how it tastes. So whenever you eat at home, guys, I think the most important thing is you should eat with hands. Some people, they like to eat with knife and fork. But really, when you're actually tasting food, the best way to eat with your hands, because you could actually taste it, all the bone and everything, and you could get to taste it better and it's easier. So let's try the sauce first. Okay, regarding the sauce, it's quite nice, but I found it a little bit hot. Because most of my food, I like it medium, but some people like it hot. So I think that's why he's made it a little bit hot. And um, it is really nice, it tastes really good as well. And it's got kind of a sweet texture as well. So now let's try the meat. So as soon as you rip the meat, guys, there's a little bit of meat. Let's try it. Actually, there's not that much meat, but it's more about, as he explained earlier on, about having the sauce and having the extra uh, fat that actually um, releases. Bismillah. Yeah, I would say it's really nice. The texture is really good. It's cooked properly as well. And it's really good. So I would definitely give this a guys. This is my review. I would give this a 9. 9 out of 10. Definitely he's doing a good job. It's really nice. But I don't think I'm going to finish the rest of it. and let the missus come and let her try and give a verdict of it. But I think it's really nice. But I think that's the only much as I could eat because I've just been to gym, I've had a hard session and I'm going to eat something more healthy. But definitely guys, I do recommend it. Shout out to Shabzi. I will leave his number. If you do want anything making for any kind of events, for weddings, mendies, parties, celebration, definitely contact him. And I would definitely recommend him. And this brother cooks some amazing food. Anyway guys, I hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe, like, comment share and let me know if you want me to do uh, another video sorry some people might like it some people might not like it if it is for you then i think you should definitely try it but generally myself i like more of as i said lamb shank so i like proper lamb this thing is good but it's not something that i always crave about i try it now and then in a blue moon but it's definitely nice. anyway guys see you soon peace out boom